Today we're going to be making brutti ma buoni. This is the savory version of the more famous sweet brutti ma buoni. Brutti means ugly, buoni means good. <laughs> Modesty here. <laughs> This is a very, very easy recipe. It could be, um, you could use this as an appetizer, as a snack, as you know, as you wanna. Any time of the day. Any thing. time of the day. The recipes are all purpose flour. The ingredients are. The ingredients of the recipe are <laughs> um, flour, pepper, pecorino romano, parmigiano, extra virgin olive oil, milk, salt and baking powder and it's the kind of recipe for Benny. You know why? Because you take a nice bowl and you just throw in all the ingredients. This is a, it, it's, um, you're going to be baking these. So obviously as Benny is preparing, I'm going to turn on the oven so when they're ready, the oven is hot. So let me turn the oven on. Mix everything together. You wait it out. How much salt? Well, not the entire salt. It says a, it says a pinch of salt. It's always, it's always best this, to ask. This is all. Yes. So oh, you never actually, know with her. Look, good. Uh, let, let me put the pepper. Exaggerate. So the first thing that you did is you put all the dry ingredients. Yes, because I've girl. learned. Yes, that's a lot. More. Okay. So that you can break all the ingredients. Okay. But wait, wait, don't put the... So you break all the ingredients so there are no lumps. You would have done that, wouldn't you? Of course. Ready? Ready. You're not going to turn? Do you want me to turn? Yeah, I will. No, I will. Why did you ask? Let me get another. Benny, it's going to get stuck. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm going to have <laughs> Why, why did you take this? Can why I just cut it with my hand? hand? Yeah. Well, you gave me this. No, I told you not. It was just for the dry ingredients. Here. Move. I'll do this. Do you see? You're I would have done it with my hands. No, I would have. Drinking wine. I am better off drinking <laughs> wine, but I would have done this with my hands. You gave me this. It was to, to make sure that the dry ingredients don't have lumps. There you go. This is quite satisfying because you just throw everything in together. And you work oh, and the really cool thing about this recipe is, as she works, is that what you're creating is this cookie that is it's like white canvas. We're going to do the basic, we're going to show you how to make the basic one, but once the dough is ready, you can just have your imagination run wild. You can add olives, you can add pancetta, mm -hmm. bacon yeah. crisps, you can add rosemary, thyme, whatever you want. Because you can make, you know, you can make like three of these doughs and then in each one you put something different yeah and you can freeze them very oh, yes. very important but you would freeze them baked oh yeah of course okay there you are look how simple was that you see now it was super easy to make what i i like to do this and actually mom because this is a recipe from that we we didn't steal it she just we actually kind of forced like, her to oh, donate it to us <laughs> <laughs> so you want to get even little balls because these are just, they're called, they're ugly. They're ugly cookies. So you're just going to get like a ball and you just place them on a baking sheet. What I would do and what mom also suggests is she would, it would never I would cure never you. I would never do that. But. Is you actually weigh each ball because, so you get um, similar shape and as you bake them, they, they get even, they have an even size. So mom said that she does 12 gram balls. I know it's outrageous for you. 12, 15 gram balls. Here, let me. There. So parchment paper and that's all you have to do. If you don't have the patience like Benny. No. What, how, how I do them, when I do them, I look and if they look the same, <laughs> they're fine. If one is a little bit bigger, you take a little piece out. Hey, not everybody is, No. you know, so we have to. Of course. That one's yours. <laughs> and these go perfectly well with, with wine. I mean, they're just like with made. With Prosecco. Well, with wine. I like it with Prosecco. Okay. And you continue until you finish the dough. 
I'm precise. <laughs> She's precise. <laughs> That's funny, Benny. Well, I'm surprised. You see? Positively surprised. So I'm gonna put this in the oven. Go. The recipe to the Brutti Mabuani are in the description below. We'll share the link below. They have to cook at about 200 degrees Celsius, approximately 400, but we will specify it on the recipe for about 20 minutes. And I think they're done. The smell is incredible. Let me get them. Let me, get, let me take them out. Ooh, look at that. I can smell it eventually. You see? Because as, be careful, it's hot. I know. As it has baking soda, it, it has baking powder, I'm sorry. So as they bake, they deform. And they're they nice. deform and they're beautiful. Ouch. And it's, we don't have wine, but it doesn't matter. Remember to subscribe to our Local Aromas channel. And there's a little bell on the side. Click it and it will notify you every time, every time we're gonna post a video. And we're gonna be posting quite a bit. Mm -hmm. How is it? Ouch. Buono. Brutto o buono? Brutto ma buono.